what's going on guys, it's Brown from Men's Comics. This video is brought to you by Frankie's Comics. Make sure you check out frankiescomics.com for all your exclusive store variant needs, plus regular comics at a great price. This video is in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com, and in this video, I'm gonna give you my weekly picks for new comic books that are coming out Wednesday, September 11th, 2019. Starting with Batman number 78. We all know issue 77 left us with, oh my goodness, what just happened? But 78 picks up. Here, Batman's gonna return to Gotham with the help of one ally he thought he lost, and we're talking about Catwoman. This is gonna have a regular cover by Tony S. Daniel, as well as a regular price variant by Clay Mann. Speaking of Catwoman, we also get Catwoman number 15 this week. I haven't really been following the story. I started reading it when it first came out, but I fell off. The real reason why I picked this up is for those art germ variants. This is gonna have a regular Joel Jones cover, as well as a regular priced art germ variant, which I just referenced. If you are reading Catwoman, let me know in the comments. Do you enjoy it? Because I'm definitely interested to know if I'm missing out on anything that's good. Next from DC, we get Event Leviathan number four. This is the big epic series going on right now from Brian Michael Bendis with interior art by Alex Maleev. It does have a regular Alex Maleev cover as well as a cardstock variant by Carrie Andrews. Next comes probably one of my favorite titles to read right now from DC Comics and we're talking about Flash number 78. We have Death of the Speed Force as Flash faces off against new Speed Force users. Forza, Steadfast, and Psych. This is gonna have a regular cover by Rafael Sandoval, as well as a regular price Paolo Pantaleno variant. Next we get Gotham City Monsters number one. Here we get Frankenstein recruiting Killer Croc, Lady Clayface, Orca, and Vampire Andrew to take on Melmoth. Has a regular cover by Philip Tan, as well as a regular price variant by Frank Cho. Next up with all the books that Brian Michael Bendis is writing right now, I think this book is the one that's most overlooked and it's one of the most fun to read. And we're talking about Young Justice number eight. And this issue, they take on their evil lookalikes and it's gonna have a regular cover by John Thames as well as a regular price variant by John Boy Myers. I actually really like the Myers cover on this, so that's the one I'll be picking up. Next up, for coming out from IDW this week, we get Canto number four. Still one of my favorite stories to read. Some of the heat has cooled down on it, but I still love this book. Love the creators, David Boo and Drew Zucker. The number four is coming out. It's gonna have the regular Drew Zucker cover, as well as a one in 10 and cine variant by Philip Sevy. Sticking with IDW, we get Pandemica number one, another apocalyptic tale where Resistance Group takes on a small form of government. It's gonna have a regular cover, as well as a one in 10 black and white and cine variant, and both of those are by Alex Sanchez. Just in case you're looking and this seems to be sold out, make sure you do check out frankiescomics.com as he has some for sale up there right now. Moving on over to Image, we get Coffin Bound number two. Issue number one came out, received a lot of great reviews. I enjoyed the story, but I'm still not sold on it, so I'm looking forward to picking up issue number two. And if you didn't get issue number one, the third printing for that is releasing this week as well. But one book I am enjoying from Image is Reaver, and we get issue number three this week. This is one book that I highly recommend. Definitely, definitely enjoy this one. Also releasing this week is the second print to issue number two. I know a lot of people don't like the interior art on this comic. I tend to not, I tend to enjoy it just fine, but really the story is what makes the book on this one. But it does help. Those Becky Cloonan covers are top notch. Either way, this is one book I continue to keep in my pull list and recommend others read it as well. And keeping with great stories, we get Unearth number three from Image, written by Cullen Bunn and Kyle Strom. Fantastic story. If you aren't reading this, make sure you pick it up. This is gonna have a regular cover as well as a Kyle Strom variant. Getting into Marvel this week. Now there's a lot of absolute carnage tie-ins. I'm not including those in this video. I tend to not like a lot of them. That's just me. If you are interested, Absolute Carnage Symbiote of Vengeance number one comes out, as well as Absolute Carnage versus Deadpool number two. But one book I am looking forward to is Age of Conan Valeria number two. Like the first issue a lot, still not as great as I'm liking Conan the Barbarian or Savage Sword of Conan, but this is still a great Conan title. And number two is coming out this week and it's gonna have a regular cover as well as a regular price variant by Emanuela Lupacino. We are also getting Black Cat number four this week. This is one of those ones where I like the covers better than I'm liking the story. I still read it, mostly digitally, and then buy the covers that I like, but Number four comes out this week. It has one cover, but if you go to frankiescomics.com, there is a fantastic virgin cover of this J. Scott Campbell cover, so make sure you check that out. Next up, we get Captain Marvel number 10. Everyone is following this for that new villain star. I love the cover on this, fantastic Mark Brooks cover, but, but here we find out Captain Marvel is out and star is in. Also in this issue, Carol struggles with her new role, as well as unraveling the mystery of what is happening with her powers. 
Next up, my favorite series to read right now from Marvel, and that is Daredevil number 11. Anytime a new issue comes out, you can bet it's gonna be in my weekly picks. Chip Zdarsky's doing a fantastic job. Issue number 11, we get a regular cover by Tedesco, as well as a regular price Immortal Wraparound variant. I don't like a lot of these Immortal Wraparound variants, but I actually really do like this one. I'm definitely gonna be picking that up this week. We'll also be getting the second print for issue number nine this week as well. Next from Marvel, we get Invisible Woman number three. Full disclosure, I haven't really read this book, but I do really like the Adam Hughes cover on the front of it, so I'm picking it up for cover art alone. And then next one title I've been looking forward to, we get into Jason Theron's final run on Thor. I'm talking King Thor number one. Here, the Necro Sword is falling into the hands of Loki, and we get one last final showdown between Thor and Loki. It's gonna have five different covers for it. There's a regular cover by Asad Ribic. There's a Luke Ross Immortal Wraparound variant. Also on here, what I like and what is also my pick of the week is the 1 in 25 Incentive variant by Zafino. There's also an Incentive 1 in 50 variant by Adam Kubert as well. Next up, we get Miles Morales Spider-Man number 10. I've actually enjoyed reading this Spider-Man better than the regular Spider-Man right now. A lot's been going on in this story. He's been held captive, but in this issue, we get the identity of that villain revealed. We have a regular cover. We have a regular price of Manuela Lupacino wraparound variant. There's an incentive Umberto Ramos 1 in 25 variant, as well as an incentive Ed McGinnis variant. I've seen here and there, some places are soliciting it, some places aren't. It also looks to be a 1 in 10 incentive variant. So I'm not sure if that's available or not, but it's one to keep an eye out for, especially if it is out there. Next, keeping with that John Hickman saga that's coming out week after week, we get Powers of X number four, hot. As always, Edwin's been buying these up. This is gonna have eight different covers as well. We have the regular RB Silva cover, a regular price new character variant, a John Tyler Christopher action figure variant, a Jorge Molina connecting variant, a character decades variant, a Scotty Young baby variant, a one in 10 incentive Mike Huddleston variant, as well as an incentive RB Silva virgin variant. Up next this week, we get Silver Surfer Black number four, another great title written by Donny Cates, of course. And this is gonna have four different covers for it. We have the regular Trad Moore cover, an Immortal Wraparound variant by Alex Garner, a regular price Ron Lim variant, as well as a one in 25 Incentive variant by Peach Momoko. And then also the bigger title that's being written by Donny Cates right now is Venom number 18. There were some spoilers, especially some images that came out this week, hinting that Sleeper might bond with Dylan Brock. We'll have to see. I'm anxious to know where those panels lie in the book, whether at the beginning or in the middle or at the end. But either way, it's created buzz. Not at, like buzz needed to be created for this title because it's hot and it's gonna have three different covers. We have the regular Kyle Hotz cover. There's an Immortal Wraparound variant by Will Sliney, as well as a one in 25 Incentive Codex variant by Patrick Zercher. And completing the trifecta of Donny Cates written books, we move over independent where we get Baby Teeth number 16. This comes from Aftershock Comics. I'm happy to see this book continue to go on. Another great book by Donny Cates, fantastic story. Definitely recommend you guys read it. This is one title that came out before he started getting all that notoriety at Marvel. So it's definitely worth taking note of. And it's a great title given how horror comics have made a huge comeback lately. Also from Red 5 Comics this week, we get issue number two of Dark Age. Dark Age number one took off, a lot of secondary market heat. So we're gonna see if it keeps up with that heat in Dark Age number two. There's the regular cover, as well as a one in 10 incentive variant by Nicholas Eli. Eli's been killing on those incentive variants. Definitely recommend picking those up if you can find them. Also, continuing to ride that heat of Once and Future number one, we get the fourth print coming out from Boom Studios this week. All the copies have been definitely rising on the secondary market. Issue number one is probably still the easiest one to find out there, but with the fourth print coming out, new cover out on all of these covers, helps increase the demand for those issues. So be on the lookout for fourth print of Once and Future number one. Sticking with Boom Studios, we're also getting Go Go Power Rangers number 23. Remember this ties into the normal Power Rangers storyline of Necessary Evil right now. This is gonna have four different covers for it. You have the regular cover, a regular price Miguel Mercado variant, a regular price Johanna the Mad variant, as well as an incentive Amelia Vidal variant. Also from Boom this week, we get the second print for Something Is Killing the Children number one. That boom seems to be putting head after head out right now. Definitely look out for that second print. And again, just like Once in Future, the second print will have new art on it. So make sure you pick that up if you can find it for cheap. So there it is guys, those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, September 11th, 2019. As always, let me know down in the comments what books you guys are picking up, what books you guys are enjoying reading right now. And don't forget, 
check out frankiescomics.com for great store exclusives as well as comics that I mentioned in this video. Now it's time for question of the day. If you could have any comic book get optioned into a movie or a TV show, what would it be? My answer right now, I really enjoy No One Left to Fight. I like that story. I think it would make an awesome animated series. So that would be a title, especially with that Netflix Dark Horse deal going on right now. Hope that would happen. But either way, still a great book. So once again, this is Brian with Superman's Comics, and I'll see you guys next week.